Hello, my name is Mike Rocca, and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today, I'll be going through the FDOT Civil 3D Subassembly Composer Training Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today, we will start with Chapter 3, Targets. Let's begin. Targets are defined under the Settings and Parameters panel on the Targets Parameters tab. And they can be set to surfaces, elevations, or offsets. Continue working on the same file or open file 3.0 targets start.pkt from the C Projects 2204955201 Roadway folder. Under the Settings and Parameters panel, select the Target Parameters tab. Create an offset target by selecting the italic create parameter line. Rename target parameter 1 to offset alignment. And set the type to offset. Leave the prefu value at its default value. Notice also the change on the preview panel. Click on the P1 and L1 rectangle on the flowchart panel. On the properties panel, change the offset target to offset alignment. This target was created previously and available for selection. Note, if the offset alignment exists, it will overwrite the delta x values. In order to test the behavior, notice the preview panel, the area with the offset alignment name. It depicts the target recently created and available for testing. The geometry has shrunk since the offset alignment preview value is zero. Select the offset alignment arrow. It should turn yellow and drag it to the right. Release the selection. Notice that the preview value under the target parameters change and the shape geometry is updated. Under the Settings and Parameters panel, select the Target's Parameter tab. Create an elevation target by selecting the italic Create Parameter line. Rename Target Parameter 2 to Elevation. Set the Type to Elevation. and set the preview value to minus one. Select the P2 and L1 rectangle from the flowchart panel. Set the offset target to offset alignment. And set the elevation target to elevation. On the preview panel, select and drag the offset alignment and elevation arrows and review the behavior of the shape and link. If these targets are defined in the corridor in Civil 3D, the width and slope of the link will be controlled by an alignment and elevation target. This concludes Chapter 3.